Hey guys, my name is Bryce, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to list cloud connections in SFP Gateway programmatically. Normally, if you wanted to view the details of a cloud connection, all you would have to do is click on it and edit it here, but this can be an issue if you want to list multiple cloud connections, as you can only edit one connection at a time, so this can prove a problem. So, to get past this problem, what we did was create a list connections bash script, which we can run and it'll list all the cloud connections and their associated details. To run the script, you'll first need to SSH into the instance. And after SSHing in, you can elevate your privileges with the command sudo su. Since jq is a dependency of our script, we'll need to install it here with the command snap install jq. If you're on AWS, for example, the command would be yum install jq. Now that we downloaded jq, we want to change directories to user local bin, as that's the location where the rest of our scripts are located. And if you change directories there and run an ll, a long list command, you'll see some of the user scripts that are already existing. As you can see, we don't currently have the list connections script in this directory. So, to download it, we'll run this wget command to download it from our public S3 bucket. Then, run another ll to confirm the script has been added, and to give the script execute permissions, you can run the command shmod plus x, and then list connections. And, if we run an ll again, you'll see the script now has execute permissions added. Lastly, in order to run the script, we'll need to create a credentials file with the username and password of your web admin user. So, to create the file, you could just use nano or vi, and we want to name it credentials.txt. So, the created the file and automatically edit it, and then the syntax for this file you want to use is admin.password or admin.username, and then the value. So, I will input my values here, and then save the file. Now that the credentials file has been created, we can run the list connection script and pass in the credentials file as a flag. So, run the script with list connections and then dash f credentials.txt and if you run this command, it'll give you a list of your cloud connections, such as I have a cloud connection pointing to Google Cloud and a cloud connection pointing to Azure. In order to list the details of a specific cloud connection, you can run this command and then specify as the name as whatever is here. Since I've specified my Azure Cloud connection, it will give me the details for my Azure connection. And if I wanted to specify something different, such as AWS, here it'll show me my AWS connection. And finally, let's do one more. Let's do Google Cloud. And this will print out the details for my Google Cloud connection. So just specify the name of your connection and run this command and it'll list the details for that specific connection. Also, if you wanted the exact commands, such as for how to install JQ, download our script from S3, or how to list a specific cloud connection, you can check out our List Connections knowledge base article, which we'll put the link in the description of this video. That's all for this video. If you haven't already, please check out our other SFP Gateway related videos and content, and as always, have a splendid day.